Hey everyone, it's Triton, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be talking more about Mixer, how it's shutting down, and where all the streamers are going after. Now, before I start, I want to apologize that my mic broke, and the sound quality of this video is probably going to be really bad. Anyway, let's continue. So, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered, like, did Facebook buy it? Where are all the streamers going? And I'm going to try and answer some of those. And trying to find the answers, I'm going to be reading a lot of things off of Twitter. So Facebook Gaming made a tweet where they took some of the community's questions and they answered them. So the first one is, did Facebook buy Mixer? No, Facebook did not buy Mixer. After Microsoft let us know their plans, we partnered up to give Mixer streamers the option to transition to Facebook Gaming. Option is an important word. Because, as an ex-Mixer partner, should I have to stream on Facebook Gaming? Definitely not. We'd love to have you, but this is all completely optional. If you do decide to come over, we got teams of people working on making your transition as smooth as possible. So Facebook didn't buy Mixer. Mixer, or Microsoft, just decided to team up with them and give the streaming platform and all the streamers the option to move over there. I guess Mixer just wasn't big enough to compete with Twitch. What are you offering Mixer partners? We're offering partner status for Mixer partners and will match existing Mixer partner agreements as closely as possible. So they're offering all Mixer partners a partnership on Facebook gaming, but hundreds of Mixer partners are moving over to Twitch instead. I've only seen one partner move over to Facebook gaming, when one out of hundreds that I've seen personally, that's kind of crazy since I spend a lot of time on Mixer. Are any Mixer employees moving over to Facebook gaming? No, no personal from Mixer are being employed by Facebook as part of our partnership. I also heard that no employees were told this. I heard that Ninja, Shroud, and Goliath, those are the only people that they told. Other than that, it was just kept confidential. I'm a streamer and know all my real name shown to viewers. Gaming creators stream from pages, which by default have no personal info on them. No viewer will be able to see your personal profile, except for those with a page role as a moderator, for example. Even though they can't see your personal page, it kind of sucks that moderators can, because I don't want my Facebook being linked to my um, gaming, my streaming. Because my Microsoft account and my Facebook account are completely different. I'd be fine with Mixer and Microsoft being linked, because they're similar. But Facebook and gaming, they're not. Then at least to this one. I don't trust you. Only my grandma uses Facebook. Why should I stream there? We get it. We know we have to earn people's trust, and it's okay, or it's more than okay if you decide not to stream on Facebook. We also know words are not only going to go so far, and we need to prove it. The best way for us to earn your trust is keep building a great streaming experience. We're making good progress, and it's your input that has gotten us this far. Also, have you ever considered if your grandma's on Facebook, might be a gamer, and then it links tactical grandma? They say that the best way for us to earn their trust is to keep building a great streaming experience. But you can't say poop. You cannot say poop on a stream. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's real. But if you can't say poop on a stream, why? What's the point? And it doesn't seem like they really care about moving partners over to Facebook gaming. They just partnered up together so they have a less they have less competitors. There's Facebook Gaming, Mixer, and Twitch. You know that Mixer's even going to beat Facebook Gaming there. Because no one wants to go on Facebook Gaming. They'd rather go to Twitch or Mixer. So, Facebook Gaming bought out Mixer. Not so they can team up and go together. And that they'll have more of a community. But that Facebook Gaming will have a competitor. Or, or will have a less competitor. Sorry. Can I stream non-gaming stuff on Facebook Gaming? You can stream anything that falls within our community guidelines on Facebook. However, for content to appear on Facebook gaming channels, it will need to include a game of some kind, video, tabletop, board, etc. That one partner that I mentioned was moving to Facebook gaming. She does a lot of web shows, and if you're on Twitch, there's basically just chatting. So, I don't know how she's going to do web shows on Facebook gaming. Do you have chatbots? We don't have chatbots that are exactly like some of the third-party solutions on other platforms. That said, we have a bunch of features in the works, including our own chat bots and partners to get early access to those sort of features. So that's pretty much everything on Twitter, but I just want to talk a little bit more about my opinion on it. So this 
um, isn't really much for, doesn't really do much for Facebook gaming. It kind of puts a bad reputation on Facebook gaming, I'd say. Since so many people are moving to Twitch, seeing all of their favorite creators move to Twitch is going to make the viewers move to Twitch as well, making Facebook gaming not really an option. And it kind of makes me sad, because Facebook gaming not really being a streaming option makes it so that there's no competitor. So if you want to stream, pretty much Twitch is your only option. And for me, that kind of sucks, because I don't like Twitch. We don't really have any free way of donating. Like on Mixer, you got Embers, which is like bits, I think, on Twitch. And, but you also got Sparks, which you just get for watching streams. And you can donate to um, them to streamers. But it's not really like currency. For some bigger partners, if you donate enough Sparks, uh, the Ember will be worth a little bit more. But for small streamers, I think it's just like giving a YouTube video a like, which you should do to this one. Now for me, where am I going to be streaming? I have not decided that yet. I don't know if I'm even going to be streaming anymore, but I still kind of want to. So there's a couple options. Twitch, no, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it on Twitch. There's just too big of a community, which is a good thing for Twitch. But I feel like it'd be hard for me to grow. Maybe later, if this channel grows a little bigger, then maybe I'll move there. Because that's where most people, or most big YouTubers, stream on. I've looked at DLive, and I might have considered that, but probably not. Probably not DLive. My only other option after that is YouTube. And I don't want to stream on this channel. That's why I made a second channel called Triton Live. I'm probably not going to stream on it very often, but it's there in case. I also made another second channel called Triton 2 Electric Boogaloo, also linked down in the description. Alright, thanks for watching. See you soon.